Right, there's one over here as well. Right, so get them to do that. There we are. Drama queen. Is that one done over there as well? It is. Right, now we need Lisa. Out the way, Marge. To go over to the, where would this be? The top left hand bit of this area. Jump on the trampoline again. Jump across onto the Buddha. You've got to pick up these bits of billboard that remain, or floats, and they kind of lodge into place. You can tell by the shape which one they go in. It's like being a three-year-old with the triangle in the triangle-shaped hole and the square in the square-shaped hole. Right now, all that's done. Go back to Marge, and you can get them to build a ramp out of it. So I'm going to put two on there. I'm going to put two on the. No, not that one. Two on that one then, and then one on that one. There's some little micro management. And Marge does not want to get up there, does she? There now, go back up to where Lisa was, back on the Buddha statue. Because you've got to pick up these two. Let's see if I can turn the camera around. Yeah, you see these two things here. Pick them up and put them on the kind of uh, slots they would go on. Because right there is one of Marge's. Oh, that missed. One of Marge's uh, collectibles. There we are. Back to Marge. Now we can get this. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Let's make sure I've got... Yes, that's right. That's everything. Let's carry on. Let's advance. Right, the first thing you do when you get here... Oh, go get Mo. People say that I look like Mo. And that's a bit of an insult, really, isn't it? Because he's the ugliest character on the program. Anyway. Highlight the table and get them to build some mini platform out of it. For some reason they do that. Well, it's quite important. Because now you've got to get out. And there. Ah, sorry about that. A new one had to come. An interruption. Anyway, what were we doing? We were on here going to the Buddha statue. That's right. Because we've got to move these little blocks to cover up these fire hydrants as they're expelling some toxin, toxious gas stuff. Right. Now you can carry on going that way, but also grab this one here and put it on this one down this little ramp. Uh, as now, if you get out of that, switch back to Marge, you can grab the uh, try and save coupon, which you couldn't get before because of the gas. Anyway, let's carry on. Now you can just go through there to the next part of the mission. I would suggest and advise you do this and break this wall open because you grab one more person. You grab another minion. Because inside is a snake. So we're going to take snake with us. Get rid of him. Come on. That's it. And head through here. Right. I think there's a little cutscene, maybe. Only a small one, I think. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, well that, yeah, good thing I didn't turn off the mic. That was, that was nothing, really, was it? Now, there is a Buddha statue there, but I don't see the point in using it. Right, first things first. Go to Lisa, you see straight, uh, yeah, straight in front of you as you head into this little town square bit. Malibu Stacy, that's your last one, on top of the police van. Ooh, a little bit of a... Because there's too many characters on the screen, a bit of a slowdown there. Alright, now back to Marge. Might as well get it overdone with quickly. Get rid of this statue in the middle of the town. For some reason, Jebediah Springfield's been replaced by Itchy and Scratchy. But no worries. 
in the meantime, well, I suppose we need to get rid of these enemies. So they're going to kill me. Get off. That Ned, Ned is very angry in this one, isn't he? He's just a bit of a bloodlust, I think. Oh, my, I just got... That was a... That was a oh, that means that I'm not going to get the no-death thing. Oh, well. Yeah, that Mars is just lying there. A bit dead. Here we go. We've got to show Quimby our children won't be exposed to senseless violence. Lisa, burn that statue! Congratulations, Quimby. You made Grand Theft Scratchy Day a tremendous success. Thank you. Why don't we celebrate with some interns? Sexy interns? Well, Springfield sexy. Oh, my. <laughs> I don't think he's coming out. We're going to have to use our secret weapon. No, Ned, not yet. I'm talking about Maggie. These 3D cutscenes are so strange, aren't they? They just look weird. I mean, Simpsons Hit and Run was 3D like that, but they made it work. Anyway, okay, now, as you just heard, let's get Maggie and go towards the. Where is it? Over there. The ruined town hall. And into the vent. All right. Mommy loves you. Okay, you gotta avoid the steam. Just time it right. I think there's. Wow, yeah. Right. Just time it right. Okay. So I'm ready to receive my bride now. Oh baby, the dollar sign doesn't lie. More strange cutscenes. Right, if we go forward and then turn left, there's your last coupon. Oh, turn around again, there we are. And then hit the little wheel. There's another one. This is just turning up the pressure, I think. So they start to roast down there in their uh, jacuzzi hot tub. Oh, that got me a little bit. That steam. Alright, here's the last one. And cutscene. Dear God, we're not soaking, we're cooking. A mob of parents? A s -s 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 senator Quimby, you specifically promised me no mobs. You said this town was full of slugs who would suck up our sexy sleaze with a smile. Consider yourself unbribed. Unable to secure a decent bribe, I have decided to flip-flop and ban sales of Grand Theft Scratchy for minors, the only people who want to play it. Mom, isn't it a little bit hypocritical that you're opposed to the violence in the Itchy and Scratchy game, but then you use violence to get your way? I'm sorry, Lisa, what? I, I, I just can't hear you over the roar of this appreciative crowd. That was so, so awesome. what I did. Oh, it that was, was the greatest incredible. day of my life. Oh, man, all my life I wanted to be a human garbage disposal, and now I was. Homie, don't you think you could put your new powers to better use? Oh, like what? Eat terrorists and bar flowers? What did you do that was so great? For your information, I rallied the town to ban a very violent video game. Mom, if kids don't play Grand Theft Scratchy, they'll never learn real-world skills. Like how to sell guns or hunt for hidden packages. You should talk, Bard. I heard that you destroyed half the Natural History Museum. And that's my favorite place to find solace. And while we're on the subject of yelling at each other, your little stud with the loggers has put an army of regular Joes out of work. Way to go! Way to ruin lives! Of all the stupid, fat idiots... You wouldn't know what to do with the superpower if your name Not was Charles Well, you're lame. Yeah, that's right, lame. 
Well, we're here, and it only took 300 decasols. You're the one who made us stop to visit your mother in space. Why do we always argue on spacecations? You're right, let's kill and space up. <laughs> Job. Guys, listen, we've been given special powers, and if lazily written movies have taught me anything, it's that with superpowers come super responsibilities. So, on behalf of the town, let's go kick some alien butts. If they have butts to kick. Now, our powers aren't strong enough. We need to stop these spaceships, and there's only one person in Springfield who's smart enough to figure out how. I drank blue juice from under the sink. Oh, let's just find Professor Frank. There we are. Mission 5 done. Very big cutscene there with the animated one. As the story has now started, as it were. This is the proper bit of the story. So really, all the missions before were kind of tutorials for the individual characters. As in like a little setup to the main story. Let's see how we've done. 20 minutes, 42, 59. Oh wow, this is going to be three parts. Okay. 5 out of 5, 5 out of 5. We did die one time with Marge's quite funny death. And both cliches found. Remember, that first one you can miss if you don't run into the wall a little bit. Okay. So I think that's about it. Uh, next mission is called Enter the Cheat Tricks and it's about video games and it's with Bart and Lisa. Quite a good one. I do like that mission. So I shall see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>